Thank you, Marshall. Roanoke Restaurant Week kicks off today, and now is your chance to check out downtown's mix of lunch and dinner options while saving some money. Here to talk about it is Jamie Clark, the Vice President in Marketing and Communications with Downtown Roanoke, Inc. And thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. For those unfamiliar with Roanoke Restaurant Week, what is it? Um, so it's basically a chance for people to come downtown during, you know, a typically a little slower time of year um, and try out some different options, maybe um, check out some restaurants that they've never been before or maybe maybe old favorites, of course, too. And I know uh, there are four price points ranging yes. between 10 and $50 and the dinner options are th three course meals. Yes. Yeah. So we've got um, $10 lunch, which would include, of course, your, your main and a side and a drink. Um, and then we've got $25, $35 and $50 dinners. All of those are three courses. Um, and it's really up to the restaurants to decide what kind of price points they want. We do post all that in advance so people are aware. Yeah. And quite a few restaurants participate about how many and are there any new ones this year? Yeah, we've got close to 30 restaurants participating, a um, lot of great mix of restaurants. Um, we do have a couple new ones, The Vault, which I think um, you guys were there this morning checking out some food. Um, the Hatch, I think, is also new. Um, so a couple new ones and, of course, old favorites that people always make sure to hit as well. Yeah, Brittany Weir had quite a good time this morning. Yeah. I guess she went <laughs> bopping around at Two Coasts and some other places. The Vault was one of them. Yes. Um, how nice is it to get some of these new restaurants some love and get them, you know, more people coming in? You know, I think it's a really nice opportunity for us to share you know the number of restaurants that we have downtown and for restaurants that are new that maybe people aren't aware of yet um, certainly great promotion which is a large part of the reason why we do it just to keep, get people down here um, we have over 70 restaurants that are downtown uh, which is a huge number so it's hard to keep track of all this sometimes yeah and with that many kind of seems like there's something for everyone there is there's you know all kinds of different ethnic foods of course you can get a good steak and chicken and um, you know really really everything um, that your heart can desire how does this week help uh, boost the local economy with these downtown businesses? Um, so like I mentioned, you know, we intentionally put this in the month of January, you know, the holidays are over, people kind of hibernate a little bit because it gets a little cool. Um, you know, so we put it intentionally this time of year just to get people to come downtown and support the local businesses. You know, this is really kind of a slow season um, for them um, until, you know, St. Patrick's Day kicks off and people start to really return and come out again. So um, just to help them, you know, really get some business in there, exposure to people um, coming into their, their restaurants. Then, of course, we hope when people come downtown, they'll do a little shopping and check some stuff out as well. And for a full list of all the participating restaurants and more information about Roanoke Restaurant Week, where's the best place for them to look? Uh, so people can go to our website, um, downtownroanoke.org, or they can go to roanokerestaurantweek.com. Um, we have all the participating restaurants listed, um, their price points, and if you click on their little tiles on the website, you can actually see their menus as well. Um, so check it out, you know, make your plans. We do recommend reservations for restaurants that take them because it does get really busy. Perfect. Jamie, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me.